So hello everybody, uh, also in my name. Um, I would like to play some of my own compositions today, tonight. And as a composer, it's a really, really beautiful feeling when an organizer allows you to play your own pieces in front of the public. So I'm, uh, I really thank you for this. Um, I would like to start with a, a very recent piece called Memory Lines. Um, and it's actually the first time I will play this piece in public. Uh, memory lines means when you sit down with a friend or a family and you talk about nice memories in the past. It has a lot to do with nostalgia. And nostalgia is on one hand uh, a bit sad feeling, but it's also very beautiful because it means you had very nice time, you had a lot of love. And I think we should always live every moment that one time it will become nostalgia. So this is memory lines.
The next piece uh, I wrote, it's my third piece ever written, so I was very young. And what is very interesting that my first, second, and fourth piece really suck. They are really, really bad, and I don't want anybody to see them. But this third piece kind of turned out okay. It is called Corfu. Uh, Corfu is, of course, island in Greece.
next piece is called Adieu Roland, homage à Adieu Roland, or Adieu, or uh, Roland Dion's. Um, of course, guitarists all know him. He's one of the most played guitarists. There's almost no guitarist who doesn't play him. Uh, sadly, a couple of years ago, he passed away, and he died very unexpectedly. And, of course, he shocked everybody, including me, because we were quite close. Um, I met him when I came to him. I played some of my pieces. First thing he said is that I stole all of his ideas, but then he actually liked my pieces, and because of him, I'm published, and he also gave me a quote that I can use in my CV and our collaboration. Uh, the climax was, of course, the, the concert in Liechtenstein. So he was very important for my development. Um, and homage, of course, means writing somebody as a memory of writing something as a memory of somebody. Uh, in my homages, I want to come a bit close to his compositional style, which I do in the middle of the piece with these percussion effects. And I also put us two quotes from him, so it's really evident it's his homage. And I just, he was a very strange guy, but he had this philosophy. He always says, uh, said, uh, don't be just a guitarist, be a poet. And I think this is really something that is very, very deep.
The following title I did steal from him. Um, he has uh, two pieces called En Sky. So, uh, Vals En Sky and the most famous one, Tango En Sky. He wrote this tango and he was quite embarrassed. He was uh, improvising a bit. He thought it's a very cheap replica of tango. And En Sky means a cheap leather. So, he basically said, this is a cheap replica of tango. And I love how you can get away with calling your piece cheap and it's still plate. So I did the same. So this is Scherzo and Sky. And like I said, don't, don't take this piece too seriously. It's just for fun.
And for the last piece, I would like to do something very risky. I will play the most modern piece. So I hope I, we won't lose half of the uh, public. But because after me there is a very nice guitarist with finger style, I don't think that a bit of modern music will hurt us. Um, I am a very big enthusiast when it comes to space, astro astronomy. So this piece is called Black Hole. Um, and black hole is an object in space with such a gravity that nothing, not even light, can escape it. So this piece, although it's very short, has three parts and it's a journey. So first, first part is a journey towards the black hole where we feel this aggression and gravity. Uh, nobody knows what happens inside of black hole, what happens with time and reality. So middle part is my interpretation of it. And there is one theory that every black hole has a white hole and there is a warm hole in between. So everything that falls in the black hole goes through the warm hole out of the white hole. So this is a third part. Understand? <laughs> so, um, again, thank you so much for listening to me and it was a real, real uh, pleasure to, to play for you.